Today we actually, uh, since it's a 3.30 start, we showed up. I got here at about 10.30, 10.45, helped get set up outside at the tailgate, and then uh, right around, I guess, I don't know, around 11.30, 12 o'clock as we come in here, start setting up all of our banners and, and everything like that, all the TIFO that we're using for the game, get all of our flags. We got hundreds of them here, you know, that we got to get out throughout the park, and uh, this probably takes about an hour. Um, to do. We got about five or six people that come in week in, week out, same people come help it out. We definitely have refined the process. It's been one of those things the first time we did it, especially the first time here in this stadium, it was tough to kind of figure the layout out and it took us up to, you know, two or three hours to get it set up because we were rookies, man. We had no idea what we we're doing and now, you know, we're doing it 18 to 20 times a season. You know, it's, it's kind of getting routine. We've had a fantastic relationship with them since the beginning. Um, yeah, there's been a couple things here and there that have pushed back. As you know, any, any relationship happens, there's there's issues that come up. But uh, they allow us to keep our stuff here. They let us in a couple hours before the game to get stuff set up. And it's been fantastic, especially with the way that they designed this whole end for us. Like it's completely segregated from the rest of the stadium, and we don't have uh, you know have to have a season ticket in the section to get back into here. You know, so it's pretty good. We have our own entrance right over here, and probably about an hour before the game, it starts getting riled up. People having some cocktails outside, getting a little fired up. You know, and uh, we all come in probably you know about an uh, I'd I'd say about half hour before the game, and you'll see it slowly builds and slowly crescendos until kickoff, and then it's just game on. You know, it's wild. Here's the remnants of it. It's just a pull pin, like a hand grenade. You pull it, drop it in the bucket, smoke. Basically, it. we actually ordered some new ones, um, some custom ones that are actually going to be blue and yellow, um, that are a little bit bigger. And it's going to be completely like you push a button and they all go off. It's going to be pretty, pretty ridiculous once we get it. There's about six or seven of us. Um, in the beginning, there was two of us up here, and it's really tough to project your voice out to, you know, 2,000 people, you know, along the way. So now we have six to eight people that are up here. You know, I play the drum and help lead, um, you know, everybody in song, and it starts kind of here and it just filters its way out. You know? The guy that's been the most from the beginning, has been here since the beginning, is Caleb, Danny Caleb. So he's absolutely fantastic with you know um, everything that's going on, interacting with us, showing up at events and things like that that we do, and you know embracing the whole culture. And as I said, pretty much everybody. There really hasn't been anybody that's stood out that's been you know cold shouldered us. Like they've all been you know really welcoming and really awesome. <laughs> but he, he's probably been the best. Latou blasts it home. Philadelphia has tied it up. Well, I know the first game that we had here in PPL Park against Seattle um, was really a, the culmination of all the work that everybody's put in over the past couple of years. Um, you know, we played our first two games at the link, which was cool, but like we were in another stadium. We came down here and the first time we were in this building, like with, you know, it's full and just loud and rowdy was, was absolutely pretty. It was amazing. Even though it was 120 degrees that day, it was absolutely ungodly hot. Um, but it was that was that was the moment that it was like, wow, like this is for real.